YouTube, what's up? It's your boy LJ, and uh, today I wanted to make a little dreadlock video and talk about this thing right here. This is what I've been using in my dreadlocks to clean them lately. You know, I still do apple, apple cider vinegar cleanings on my hair, but I don't do those every single time that I wash my hair, and I don't think that you should do those every time you wash your hair either because it kind of leaves your hair with a little bit of an, I mean, not best smelling smell, so this is a lot better. And a lot of people are like, what is that LJ in your hand? Well, this is what you call African black soap. This is what you want to use in your dreadlocks because, as a lot of you know, a lot of the shampoos and conditioners that we use in our hair, we cannot use in our dreadlocks because they will create buildup, they will create mold, they carry, you know, scents, and that might not always smell good after a couple of days. So I try to keep it very natural when I do this. The whole point of dreadlocks is to stay natural, but the last thing that you want is a bunch of buildup in your in your dreaded locks because people are going to see it. They might comment on it. You know, you might it's like when you get like the little white fuzzy stuff. You just it's just a bad look. You don't want it. Um but this is a lifesaver right here. When you first get it, it's real mushy. I guess that's one of the cons to it. It's a little mushy and when you get it wet, it kind of has like a little brown residue that comes off of it, I guess. Like it leaves a little brown puddle, which is kind of gross, I'm not going to lie, but the stuff's amazing. I mean, as soon as you wash your face with this, you will feel that your face is cleaner, and this is, again, natural, so that's not usually a feeling that you get from natural products, like you're, like, cleaner. That's usually, like, a chemical feeling, like a peppermint type thing, but, you know, this thing's really cool. It has coconut oils. It has all kinds of awesome stuff, B vitamins and stuff like that that are just awesome for your hair, but also really good for your face. If you have any acne marks or scars, or if you just have bad acne in general, this is also something that really got me through high school. I had the worst acne of any kid that I know, and my literally my face used to, people used to say it, my face looked like a dirt bike track, like it was that bad. So this is something, again, if you're you know of that age, I'm 27 now, I don't really get pimples, but if you're like 18, 19, or maybe a little younger, you might want to check out this African black soap. It might do really good for your face. One thing that I did here, and again, I'm not sure if this is true. I heard that these products generally work better with people with tougher skin types, I guess, because if you have a little, a little bit of a sensitive, more sensitive skin type, I heard that the, uh, the coconut oil may cause uh, that to clog your pores and you could break out from it. So if you're really sensitive and you know that, then, you know, use this with caution. But, I mean, I know where I was at when I was in ninth grade. I was looking for any answer into the sun as long as it was affordable. And this bar of soap right here is super affordable, guys. It's like, I think I paid only like $2 for this little tiny bit. But this lathers up really good. Like, literally, this little tiny bit will last me a whole month of me showering every single day and washing my whole body with this every single day because that's how much it lathers up. It lathers up a lot. So you don't need a lot. It goes a long way and it's really cheap and it's really natural and you feel clean. Um, you know, when you run your fingers over your face, you'll even feel like, you know, how it goes. You feel that squeaky cleanness. That's how you're going to feel with this. If you use this on your hair and it's not in dreadlocks, you will also feel a big difference in your dreadlocks, or in your hair, I'm sorry. A little more texture, I think, a little, like, a little more feel to it. My hair doesn't feel as thin when I use this stuff. It feels like it has more weight to it. Uh, I think it's because it's kind of like a little bit of a clay type base to it, so it just gives my hair, like, a, that different texture that sometimes a lot of people need before they put other things in their hair so that their hair can cooperate. So if you're somebody with a tough hair type that's tried everything, that's looking for a holistic answer, or you just want to try something natural that's new and see how it goes, I do recommend the black soap. Um, my next video, I'm actually probably going to be dyeing my dreadlocks, just the tips, but I did want to make this little cleaning video before I made that video. So if you guys are looking for that video, I'm going to probably put this stuff in my hair later today. If you want to see how it turns out, make sure you watch the next video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, as always, and be sure to subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.